Well, hey everyone, my name is Chris and welcome to my channel. This video is a first for me. I had a company reach out, wanted me to try out their ratchet straps. The company's called Strapino. And um, they sent me a list of all the different size straps and types of straps they build and told me to pick out what straps I would like to try out and how many I needed. So uh, I asked for two of these and um, I'm going to do an unboxing and a video kind of showcasing these straps and giving my thoughts on it so um, at the end of the video if you're interested in these straps or you want to check out the company you can go to uh, the link in the description in the description down below and I'll also add the company's website so so let's check them out so this is the so this is the RD 2027 model it's a two inch ratchet straps 27 foot long and this is the first time I'm opening this strap. And it's got a limited 30 day warranty on it. And here it is. And what makes this strap so unique is this feature that winds the strap back in without having a big tail. So, I use ratchet straps quite a bit, and I'll show you what I, I'll show you what my old straps look like and what I do with the tailing. I've never used one that winds in by itself like that. So, um, I guess we'll see how, in, in, over time, how it holds up. But it's got a 3,333 pound. Uh, working load limit and the brake the braking strength is 10,000 pounds. It's a polyester webbing 27 foot long in total and This company sells multiple sizes of different uh, straps that all ratchet like this strap here I use these two inch straps all the time to secure my hay when I'm delivering it. so I'm going to Throw a couple round bells on my truck and we're going to see how good these straps work. All right, I got two bells going out to a good customer of mine. She does not have the means to pick up her own hay, so I deliver it to her all the time. Let me show you uh, one of the main things I'm going to like about this strap. And this is the box I keep my straps in. And as you can see, as I pull them out, they're just a tangled mess. Uh, I, try to, I try to do my best to keep it organized but sometimes when you're on the run you just kind of throw them in the in the box so so let me get the hay uh, on the truck and then uh, we'll test out the straps and see how good they work So I got this bell pushed up against the truck, which will help keep it from rolling off. I'm going to put one strap on this bell, and then I'm going to put two on this bell uh, back here in the back. Just, uh, I mean, the straps are rated at 3,300 pounds. These things weigh 1,000 pounds. So one strap is technically legal to, uh, to secure that bell, but I'm going to put two on it. And, uh, and then I'm going to go drop this hay off. But 
let me uh, get this old strap older strap here put on the round bell and I'll show you what I normally have to do all right I like to put my uh, I like to put my ratcheting mechanism on the passenger side in case I'm on the highway and I have to secure my load I'll be on the passenger side as these cars are flying by me at 70 miles an hour so what I'll normally do is I'll put my end uh, you see you got on my tail end slack and wind this so let me so I have to pull some slack out of this it's usually a tangled weave but you do it long enough to get used to it so anyways what I'll have to do very carefully is I'll line my stra strap up with the center of the bell uh, let me throw this over and then uh, get it lined up in the middle and then pull the slack out and then I usually put I gotta set my camera down all right so I have to two-hand it and then I'll put a couple of twists in the strap to help with the wind flapping. Pull it tight. And then the tailing. There's a thousand different ways you can do this. This is how I do it. I roll it up in a big circle. Like so. Then I leave enough slack, go through the center, put it in a knot. That's what I usually do with my tailing. And then I'll stuff it in the rub rail. And that's what I usually do with those straps. So now let's try out the new Strapino. All right, so this one I'm gonna just set it across the bell. Kind of let it drop down and let it pull itself out. And then the tension keeps that strap tight. So that's pretty nice. Do the same thing with this one. Let's see if I can throw it over. All right. twist in it all right there's one And there we go. So it was pretty convenient with the strap winding itself up and not having to deal with the tailings. You just throw it over, hook it up, and, and ratchet it tight. The only downside I think about the strap is um, how long this tail is. It'd be nice if they had this tailing shorter like that, like these straps here. But so far I like them. They're very convenient. We'll see once I take them off and uh, putting them up. So let me go get this hay dropped off. All right, let's show the beauty about these straps. This is the best part.
All right, here's the old style. This is what I normally have to do. Pull them over. And then I have to sit here and wind them up. And then this trapino. So I want to say thank you to Strapino for reaching out. My thoughts on it are I really like it. I like the uh, wind up feature, but time will tell. I got to get used to it because I'm used to the other style that I've been using for a while, quite, a, quite some time. So the more I use these, I think the more I'll get into it. But um, check out the, uh, the description for the link to these straps if you're interested. And uh, thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.